Hi everyone, welcome back to the Wonder Room. We are going to be doing a few more elements from this page today. I'm actually going to start with the shelf. Now this shelf I am going to colour in the same way as the shelf. Oops, hang on, let me zoom out a bit easy and trying to move my book to show you. See we have a shelf over here, yeah? We have this shelf here and we have these shelves here and I'm going to be colouring them all with the same colours. So I'm going to show you with one, with this one, and then um, the rest um, I will do without um, being on film. So we'll start that, oh, I'm trying to zoom in, pressing the wrong button on my remote control. Let's go back in. Now I've chosen this particular shelf because um, I'm going to do the a few other elements here. Let's move that down. There we go. So I want it to be slightly different to the rest of the furniture or else I would have just done it when I did the rest of the furniture. I quite like it, this shelf to be a little bit warmer in colour. So I am going to grab this colour first, this is the Bistra, we may have used this already for the, some of the furniture but we're going to use it in a slightly different way. So we are going to um, use it for the shaded area, so I'm thinking the uh, edges like that and here. Now this particular shelf we can't see um, on the shelf but if you've got shelves with elements on them like this one, let's go here, I would probably do some shadow just in front of the item, like that, okay, and uh, just in front of the item here, like that, okay, and then a little bit still on the edges, like we've done on the other shelf, like, oh, there. Now with this one, we've got these columns as well, and I keep them in the same colour, and just do some shadow under each of these bits. Okay, so that's that. We might as well show you how to do it all while we're here. Now we have this, um, our little teeny friend. He is a cutie. He is the very lightest brown in the, uh, in the polychromos. And he is the brown ochre. Okay, so... We're going to use oops, him to finish off. It might make mean the shelf is similar to the floor colour. I'm leaving my book pushed across at the minute so you can just, you'll be able to see, um, I'll show you on the other shelf unit too. So I'm going to try and fade it a little bit towards the middle. So I'm going over the bit that I've done already in the darker colour and then sort of fading it as we get towards the middle of the shelf area. There we go. Um, I've actually faded it there. I would have rather to put it in the middle, but hey, and a little bit here on this, as if it's a little wooden dowel, is what I thought it was. You might think it's a gold tack or something. And you can see the effect here too. If you want the darker colour to be more emphasised, you could either not colour over it or um, go back over with some more if you think it's not dark enough. Okay, so I'm just showing you how it will look with my method and then you can decide like that. And so with these, what I will probably do is actually make use this colour to make a bit of a shine in the middle. Not massive because it's not metal, it's wood and that's how I've imagined it. But we've got that bit of shadow in there and making them look a little bit shiny like that. And it just emphasises the sort of shape of those columns. So that's how I'm going to do that one. Now, these edges, I think light mm, is probably coming down from the ceiling. We have got a lamp up here, which we're going to be doing in a minute. So these will probably be a little bit darker. And I'm probably just going to a few more layers there and maybe a bit of the bistra just on each end again like that okay so it's quite straightforward that's how i will do all the shelves so let's move here 
Now we have got our lampshade. Now because our rugs are blue and our wall is painted blue, although we've got a huge clutter of different coloured items, I'm thinking that maybe it would be blue to sort of match in. So I think, you know, whoever first designed the room might have put in the matching lampshade and then the clutter slowly filled into the room later. So blues, i um, just got to move my trays around, my, my polychromos. Now, we could take some of the blues from the rugs. Um, I can't remember what I used. So, but I'm thinking, yeah, we've got... Okay, I'm just going to make a start. I'm going to use this one. This is the Indanthrene Blue. Okay. And I'm going to use this. This will be the darkest blue. I'm going to use it down here to start with. Like there were these sort of tassel -y bits. And I think it, they would be darker near the top here. So this edge all a bit darker. And then less as we get towards the bottom. That's how I would think it would look. I don't have a lampshade like this. I'm not a big fan of light, of um, light fittings and sh shades and things. They're always, I don't know, I've got quite a nice one in my bedroom, but they always look a bit too bedroomy. Sitting room ones, I'm never sure. Mine are bedroom lampshades in my sitting room. I haven't, but I don't want to pay too much for lampshades. Who looks at lampshades? Maybe people do, I don't know. Okay, now I think where it's in here, do you see there's, it's tipped in, so this bit I think would be a bit darker. I'm just going to try and put a little line in there, which will then flow up with that one. Um, and I'm going to continue with this darker blue for some of the elements, so for here as well. But I'm going to fade it a bit more towards this line. I'm thinking we'll have a couple of different blues, maybe more than, maybe three, not sure yet. So um, I'm hoping that um, I might be able to finish a few more whips or work in progress with you as well. There's a page in um, World of Flowers where we did one side of the double page. I was thinking maybe I will do the other side with you as my next um, little afternoon session of videos. I mean, this room is going to take a little while, but um, as I say, I won't be doing every single bit. Now I'm trying to decide whether to use this dark blue on the back main area of this or whether to just use it on these elements. And I'm thinking actually these are probably holes to let the light through, maybe? I don't know. I think we'll carry on with this one actually and just do it lightly. Because we, uh, I think it looks quite nice if it looks a slightly different shade of blue. It's quite nice with the polys. You can get a lot of different colors out the one pencil just by applying more or less layers and it means you know they're definitely going to match because it's the same colour and that's quite fun I can hear a bird outside, it's very pretty I can't um, identify it, I'm not very good at that there are certain birds that are easy to identify and we get we used to get a lot of goldfinches i then don't come to our garden anymore because we don't feed them anymore but um they make a very distinctive pip noise and they are very cute um i'm thinking about where i might want to put extra heavy color and actually i'm thinking the top because it will be darker here because the light is coming down but is the light switched on i mean the candles lit so I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to go for a lighter shade. This one is rather pretty. 
just give it a sharpen and I think I use this one for the rugs as well maybe I don't know this is the cobalt blue and we're going to use it for these um, sections what I'm going to do for these loopy sections is make them a little lighter near the center I think it will start to add a little bit of shape to the lampshade light shade not a lamp, is it? It's a light. Oh, I thought I was going to sneeze then, but it passed. I had my son home yesterday, it was lovely. He um, had a study day at home, but he got all his work done um, in the morning. So he was a real happy chappy and uh, had fun in the afternoon just doing his own thing. That's very pale, isn't it? might just darken it up a little bit so I think it gets a bit lost otherwise so I'm just really darkening those little sections sometimes my lamp makes things look a bit darker than they are um, Yeah, I'm trying to think. I think I'm going to do those um, shapes in a dark. Um, I'm going to go with an indigo. This is um, dark indigo. And uh, make it look like they might be holes with um, no light inside as if the light isn't on. That's my thought. And, you know, you might think that it looks more like just a printing on the fabric. And that's fine with me too. There we go. And now we have this sort of light fitting bit here. Now, usually there would be white, I think, but I th we could do them look a little bit silvery, which might be more fun. But we use quite a light colour. This is, not that one. Yeah, this is cold grey three. And I think we use that. And we we're, we're, we're just use one colour. So we want quite a few layers here on the end and on this end and just a little bit less towards the centre and I'm going to do the same on this. You might want to make this look like it's sort of rope or something but I thought it might just work with the silver on it. Um, oops. And... Uh, yeah, I'm just checking because I was asked to do some of the elements in this section and I think I have done all of those. Now this little cupboardy thing here, I'm going to do the same as I did in the desk. Not necessarily with identical colours. So with the darker brown in the back and then a lighter one on the front. So that is fine. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to, um, that is a gem. That is a shell, I think, like a whelk, a shell, another gem, a leaf, a bottle, a shell. They do look like a, a poo emoji. <laughs> so I'm going to try and colour them in a colour that makes them not look like that. Now we have a sort of coral type colour here. Um, this one. This is actually called medium flesh in my set, but it's changed name. It's 131. It's a different name in the um, in newer sets of polychromos. So I'll show you. I'll probably do it a little bit darker under each bit, just a light covering all over like that. And I'll probably do all the showers actually in the same colour, like that. It's a corally colour. And this one too. I'm sorry, I don't know what the new name of this pencil actually is. So really straightforward and simple. And then the gemstones. I probably like to do them in a purple or a bright pink. Why not do them the same colour though? Well, you did the shells the same, so perhaps we ought to. I'm going to go for a favourite of mine, which is the manganese violet. It's a mixture of sort of different colours. And what I tend to do with the gem is not colour the whole thing evenly. Do a light layer over the whole thing first if you want to. 
like this but think about the fact that this is the front face this central triangle and these two on the edge are slightly behind so they would be a little bit darker and it, they would also be darker at the bottom like that this one is a very different shape how it is standing up like that I do not know and again I'm going to do a light colour across all of it really light and then darker at the bottom and lower bits here again thinking that the side pieces will be darker than the front it's very small it's a little bit tricky um, now what else is here that we could do we've got the bottle mm, um, I think um, the leaf is quite straightforward maybe we'll do the bottle it's a little bit less straightforward in the sense that this one here that one's quite small if you can do it in the same way really so we've got a cork first and uh, I like to use this um, raw umber a cork We're on a wonky slant, aren't we? There we go. So a little layer over the whole thing. And then a dark bit each side. Like that. And get a darker brown. I've got here the um oops. The bistra, the bistra that we were using earlier and put some dots on it because it's cork, cork has little dots might not be that visible okay, now we've got some liquid in this bottle I'm not sure what it might be um, what colour should we do it? we could do it um, a sort of magical looking colour or we could do it at just sort of a whiny colour um, I haven't really got a whiny colour Oh, that might work. This one, this red, I think might work. This is number 225. I think it's dark red. I'll just check for you. This wants to roll on the floor. Yeah, it's dark red. So we'll go with a dark layer and less as we go towards the center. And the same here. Okay, so not such a heavy layer and less layers towards the centre of the bottle. Like that. You can fiddle around with it until you feel it's sort of the right uh, amount of colour for you. I'm happy with that. Don't forget to do this top. Be reflecting the light, be quite pale. Now the glass um, see-through, of course, and we have the background there. Now when we did the fish tank, we actually did our the water in the fish tank in the sort of blue to sort of reflect the wall colour. And we did it a little bit darker and it worked quite well. So this is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to use the cobalt blue, which we just happened to have out from doing the lamp. And I'm going to use this blue, so it's a slightly different shade of blue than the wall but it means it stands out a bit really delicate as you get towards the center I want to make sure it looks like a shiny bottle still and that might be a little bit dark I am going to go over the top of that with the cold grey one just to tone it down a bit and make it look a bit more glassy quite hard, probably too hard. Okay. okay, and then we have the label. Now on the label it looks like a sunshine to me. Um, so I am going to do yellow. Just thinking, my yellows are got out of order. This is the cad dark cadmium yellow. And I shall do that for 
Um, this inside bit, I think. Like that. And then the, um, just the cadmium yellow for the next piece. This bit. And then a light one. This is the light cadmium yellow. Believe me. <laughs> for that bit. So now I am going to go away and I'm going to finish all the shelving in this room um, using the method that I explained. Um, yeah, and I think that's it. And I shall come back tomorrow with, with a little bit more. So, and I'll show you what I've done because uh, I'm not going to uh, take a photo of it um, until it's all done. Well, I'm not going to take a photo of it. I shall um, finish it and show you tomorrow. As I said. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, enjoy the rest of your day and happy colouring.